Hey guys, so today is going to be my November's favorites video. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. I feel like I have quite a few good products to share with you this month. Um, they are all makeup related products. I do have one nail product um, and I'll start off with that one. It is on my nails now. It has started to chip but it has been about a week since I applied it. For me that's pretty good. Nail polishes seem to chip off my nails unless I go get them done at like a professional place like a manicurist. It seems to last maybe two to three weeks then. Um, but if I just paint my nails at home, they chip so quickly. That's why I honestly hate painting my nails. I hardly ever have them done. Um, and in videos you notice, I might have a lot of chip nails because I get tired of constantly, I'll paint my nails the next day, they look like they haven't been painted in two weeks. So this though, I have had on for a week now and I need to take them off and redo it but it's really not that bad. It's just now started to chip. Um, the Butter London um, nail brand is what this is, and this is in Yummy Mummy. I really like the color. Um, it's just kind of a very light nude brown color, um, but this I did not actually even use a base or a top coat, which I usually do, but when I painted my nails, I was in a hurry. So for it to last a week, that is really good all on its own. Um, I know Butter London does have a top and bottom coat that you can use to apply with their nail polishes that I think is supposed to make it last even longer. Um, I don't have it. I got this in a boxy charm actually, so I didn't purchase it. So I don't have the top and bottom coat. I probably need to get it to use with this, and I would like to get other nail polishes, but I wanted to try this out. Um, and see how it worked on its own, but I'm really impressed with this and I really really like this um, But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites this month and I like that last my nails for at least a week That is really good for me. I'm constantly using my nails um, at work. I'm always on the computer typing so my nails get are on constant use um, So that is why I think they usually probably always chip so for this to last a long time on my nails, that is definitely really, really good. Next product is, um, I have some brushes and sponges. These are the, I hope I say this right, the Japanese, let me look it up. I got this in a kit at Ulta. Um, I think it is a new kit. I don't know if it's for Christmas or not. I don't think it said like holiday kit. Um, I believe these are new sponges. I didn't see them by themselves on the website. It is the Japanese. Benisk Create Beauty. Um, I have not used this cleanser yet, so I cannot say whether or not I like it, but it came with the sponges. Um, the small sponge, I didn't really know what I was going to use it for. I tried to use it on my eyes, didn't really like it, um, but I actually just used it like around the lip area to kind of conceal um, some mistakes with my liquid lipstick, and I really like it for that. So if you have like a small sponge and you don't know what to use it for, that is an idea. Um, that is the only thing I have found so far that I like to use it for. It's too small kind of in the eye area, uh, maybe to get up right into there, but this point really works for me for that. This is almost, I don't know, too small to hold onto in that area if you really need to, you know, kind of press. Um, but I really like this sponge. This one is my favorite. I just wanted to include it because it came in the kit. Um, but this is my favorite. I've been using the Real Techniques sponges for a while and I really, really like them. I might have actually included one in a favorites video a few months ago. It might have been a while. Um, but this, I think, tops that. Um, and the kit really was not a bad price at all. That's why I bought it because I've been wanting to try like a solid brush cleanser. Um, I know there's quite a few other brands that have it. Um, and so I wanted to get that and these were included, but I really like these better than the Real Technique ones. This is my favorite um, one that I've tried so far. I have not used just the regular beauty blenders. They're pretty pricey and with the Real Techniques ones only being $5, I just went for that right off the bat. Um, but if Japanesque will continue to make just the regular sponges not in the kit. I will definitely continue to buy these by themselves over the real techniques. Um, they're so easy to blend foundation and just it is so much better. I don't even know how to explain it. They're more, they're firmer. Um, I would think I have touched like 
um, felt, the actual Beauty Blender sponge, and this is what it feels like more to me, just com compare like in the feeling of them. Um, I would compare this more to that than like, how the real technique feels. Um, so yes, this is definitely my new favorite sponge. Um, I will probably never go back to the real technique spreads. Not that they are not good, they are great, especially for five dollars. Um, but this is just my new favorite one. Another um, brush that I have been using, I have been using this for forever. Um, it might be even in a favorites video from a long time ago, but I have switched up what I've been using it for. Um, this is the Chisel Brush um, by Crown. It's the IB126, and this is a blush brush, but I have been using it, if you can tell here the way it's shaped, it's actually perfect for like bronzer. So that's what I have been using this brush for lately, and I absolutely love it. I love this brush to apply bronzer with. So if you have it, try using it for that. If you don't have it, you might want to purchase it and use it for that. Crown brushes are very inexpensive. Um, it's great for blush too, but I really like using it for bronzer. So I've had this brush for probably over a year now, but in the last few months, maybe three to four months, I've switched up what I've been using it for, and I really prefer using it for bronzer over blush. Then this um, brush I just got in a BoxyCharm, um, and this is the Crown C513 brush. And I really thought this brush was more for a pencil brush, and you can see a video is going to be coming up that I use this in. Um, but I really like this actually. It is for a crease brush, but I didn't think that's what it would be good for. Um, but I really, really like it for my crease. It is actually perfect. Um, and I used it as a pencil brush as well, and it didn't work as well as I thought it was going to. I don't know if it's because of the way the bristles just aren't um, as... Um, dense as maybe some pencil brushes usually are but it is definitely more of a crease brush even though it's so small and the point is so pointed the way that it is it's definitely more of a crease brush so Crown knew what they were doing on this brush um, and it is absolutely amazing in the crease area um, it just works really really well at getting right in there in the crease and definitely tops all my other crease brushes that I have. This is definitely a new favorite. Another eye product is my Hikari Eye Liner. Um, I have had this product, another one that I've had for a while. I just never have really reached for it except for the past maybe month. Um, and I really like this. It's really super creamy. Um, it's very black. Um, I just... I think honestly I forgot about it. I loved it when I first got it um, and I used it all the time and I recently got another one in a BoxyCharm and it reminded me that I had it. And so now I have two. Um, one's unopened but it's very black and just very creamy and I really like it for using it on like my top line if I want just a very thin um, eyeline almost like a tight line but just to where you can still see that I have eyeliner on like I have here in um, this look now and then I also used it today in my waterline and it worked really well um, for that as well so I really like this product I think it runs around ten or twelve dollars so it's not very pricey either then another eye product is of course the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette this is an absolute favorite. I don't know how it cannot be. Um, the shades in it are amazing. They're very creamy. I have done a swatch tutorial, so if you want to get more like details, um, you can watch that video. I have done a couple tutorials using this product, so you can watch those as well. Um, so I won't go into too much depth on this just because I have all those videos up, um, and you can definitely see those. Um, and I will link them down below if you want to check those out. But this palette is just, it's amazing. It's very creamy, all of the colors, they're very pigmented. They last a very long time in the eyes. Um, I love all of the shades. She did such a great 
job at making this palette. It's very inexpensive. It's around $15. Actually, it's a little under $15. And I know right now it's sold out, uh, but they are trying to bring it back. I've been trying to follow her and see when, and I don't think they've set a date. Um, but you can definitely follow her as well and try and find out if you weren't able to get it and you're wanting to. Then my next favorite product is this Professional Primer. Um, it is by Benefit, and I really like this primer. I never really had a problem with pores. I don't know if it's because as I have grown and started using makeup more, it is enlarging my pores. That would be my guess. Um, and I really do, I always wash my face at night and clean, cleanse it really well. Make sure that, you know, you don't want to leave on your makeup ever because um, that would definitely clog your pores up more. But I have noticed that in this area, my pores are definitely getting larger. Could just be, you know, getting a little older. Um, anything like that, just, you know, I'm not in teens anymore. Uh, I'm definitely not old by that age at all. But anything, you know, just... Anything like that could cause that. Um, but I really like this primer. Um, it is very smooth. Um, if you have large pores, I would definitely, you know, um, recommend this. Even my pores are not like that large. They're still, you know, kind of small. They're just, I can notice them getting larger. Um, so I want to use, you know, I use this. Um, and it really, the makeup just applies very smoothly over it. Um, I can tell that, you know, when I don't use this, I can see my pores when I apply foundation. And when then, whenever I do use this, I don't see any pores after I apply my foundation. And that foundation can be liquid or powder. It works either way. So I really like this because I can use basically any foundation and know that this is going to work. But I hope you guys enjoyed this month's favorites video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.